This week on My Classic Car, we'll travel to Devil's Lake, North Dakota for Devil's Run. This town pulls out all the stops to put on an awesome rod run and a killer car show. A lot of folks even come down from north of the border for this one. Plus, we'll check out some new wheels to update your ride. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning into My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week I'm in Devil's Lake, North Dakota for Devil's Run. This show's in its 16th year, and it's basically four days of a lot of fun. There's all sorts of stuff going on all over town with contests like muffler wrapping, flame throwing, burnouts. Oh yeah, and did I mention there's a lot of really, really cool cars? Let me show you just a few of them. Oh. <laughs> Fabulous show. You know, you and I have been talking for years about yes, this event. Yes, we have. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm so glad I finally got up here. What a great event. I love I love everything about it. You know, the well. parade. That has, to, <laughs> that has to be one of the coolest parades I've ever seen. There are hundreds of cars and thousands of people. I've seen a lot of cars, too, from a lot of different places. A lot of Canadians here. A lot of Canadians. There are people here uh, from uh, Washington, the state of Washington. There are people here from Chicago and up into Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, of course, Montana, and South Dakota. Well, you know, the nice thing about this part of the country here is, is it's laid back, good old uh, USA. I help you because I can do some good welding and you're a good body man, or maybe you can install glass or do some upholstery work, and we all work together and it really is a lot of fun. Wow. And, and, and here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Yes. I mean, it's a little out of the way. It's, this it's, is God's country. Yeah, don't ever forget it. This is God's country. This is where everybody wants to be. Well, on a day like this, I can certainly see why. What do you say? Let's go and check out a few of these cars. Okay, sounds good. All right, good. let's go. Thank you. Well, Steve, <laughs> I saw you with this car out on the streets a while ago. And I'm yep. like, oh man, I love that car. I got to find this guy. Mm -hmm. And you're here. This here is so cool. This is a, this is a... It's a 1962 bug. We call it rat bug. It looks like a rat bug. But you did some work on, on the roof here. I mean, the roof was a big one. The roof, yeah. we got a four and a half inch chop in the roof. Man, that's a, that's a, that's a major that's chop right. there. We sectioned it down the middle and we used another bug as a donor for the center section. The, the less fortunate bug. The less fortunate, the less fortunate bug. bug. Yeah, lost out and it donated <laughs> its roof. But it lives on. It lives on in the rat bug. Uh huh. This has got to be a really, really tough car to chop. I mean, it's like chopping a ball. Yeah. <laughs> well put. Yes. Well, man, you uh, you got a pretty cool looking interior too. We wanted to get a little bit of the hot rod theme from all kinds of places. Eight so ball spinner. Eight ball spinner, the whole works. A surprising it. amount of room in there, though, even with uh, the chop. Uh, bugs are absolutely huge on the inside to what they look on the outside. I'm six foot three and I fit in here no problem, even with the chop. Man, well, what's the? What, that looks like a motorcycle grip or something. Like it that. used to be actually a, a converted into an old uh, flamethrower kit for the back. This actually, is a flamethrower. We have a flamethrower kit out of the old exhaust tubes. We actually won second place at Devil's Lake here yesterday. In the flamethrower flame contest. Flamethrowing competition. Are you kidding me? I'm not. How did people yet. feel about a, a, a bug taking second? Flames in... coming out of a bug can be pretty common, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I never <laughs> thought of it that way, but you're right. Yeah, it's, it's kind of true. Now she looks wider too. We've added four and a half inches of metal on the fenders either side to fit the big boots in the back. So you got you got a four and a half inch chop, four and a half inch wider, and four and a half inch suspension drop. Oh, so like a four and a half theme here. Four and a half. And and it is as you say, it's it's rat bug. It is rat bug. Are you still running a, a VW engine? VW, yeah, still running the VW engine, although we have modified it quite a bit. We've got uh, a 1641 big bore kit with the dual Weber dual throat carbs. We've got a 110 racing cam, port and polished heads. We're popping about 140 horse now. And then these are your these are your flamethrowers. These are the flamethrowers. Actually, the exhaust doesn't even come out of here anymore. They come out from under here. Uh huh. And we blast our flames out from the back <laughs> there. <laughs> Did you come to this 
show? Every year. Every so, year. Well, this is our third year. But it's a great show, isn't it? Excellent. My it's favorite a, of the year. This it is, is it our is season cool. opener for us, and we love it. Man. Well, I love your car, man. Rat bug. Rat <laughs> nice work. You're an artist, Thanks man. Thanks very much. Steve, good work. Coming up, we'll check out some of the great rides that came out to Devil's Run in North Dakota. But first, we'll look at some new wheels to update your ride. My Classic Car is brought to you by Grundy Worldwide Collector Car Insurance. Well, hey, in the shop with me today, I got Rick Schmidt from National Parts Depot. Rick, how you doing, man? Doing great. Never better. Looks like you got wheels on your mind today, and lots of them. I brought a ton of wheels. You did I, I, I wanted to prove a point. I wanted to show people the, the breadth and depth of the wheel selection that we carry in stock, all sizes, ready to go at NPD. And what I brought today was Mustang wheels, but we've got wheels for all of our catalog lines, Camaro, Chevelle, Firebird, all the way These through. are all Mustangs. These are all Mustangs here, but we've got a ton of them. So. You've got a ton of them. We'll start with, let's start with these, which look pretty, pretty stock to me. Yes, these are the, these are stock wheel offerings, but these were the optional wheel oper offerings. So a lot of people like to up upgrade from their steel wheels and hubcaps mm -hmm. to one of these better looking factory wheels. We've got the 65 through 7 style steel right here, the 68 and 69 style steel, and uh, and the uh, Magnum 500 that's always such a popular thing. And these Magnums are flexible. I've got these from 14 inch all the way up to 17 inch in all different kinds of widths. That's a nice wheel. Though. This is another stock wheel. We're getting into our Shelby wheels. Yeah. We've got a full line of stock Shelby wheels. You don't have to have a Shelby to run a Shelby wheel, if you know, if you if you like looks, the look of the wheel, throw it on there. This it is a repro of the uh, 67 uh, Kelsey Hayes Magstar that would have gone on a 67 Shelby. Okay, well, and back here we got a uh, a couple other Shelby uh, more factory Shelby wheels, uh -huh. beautiful reproductions. That's the 6970 uh, uh, Shelby Kelsey Hayes, and that's the uh, 66 uh, Shelby Shelby wheel. And again, if you don't have a Shelby but you like the look of the wheel, we've got them available. They're a direct bolt, bolt on to your Mustang. Nothing wrong with that. But you don't stop there, do you? <laughs> no. We don't stop there. Now we're going to get into our into our more uh, period correct aftermarket wheels. This is the entire American racing lineup that we mm -hmm. carry here with the, uh, the Torque Thrust, Torque Thrust D, and the Torque Thrust II um, available in many different sizes. The uh, the the Torque Thrust, uh, the Torque Thrust original classic, and the Torque Thrust uh, D are available only in smaller sizes, uh -huh. 15 and 16 inches. But then we can jump up to this. You can jump up to this sizes. that goes all the way up to 17 inch for the Torque Thrust II. This is probably our most popular wheel right uh -huh. here with the with the classic owners because it's just it's bright, it's got a lot of pop to it, and it's got that retro look that doesn't yeah. look out of place on your car. A, a modern wheel looks kind of out of place on a classic car. And you got this similar wheel, but with uh, with the gray, yeah, that gives you the torque thrust tack, the classic look, but in a 17 incher. Uh -huh. And then there's our biggest wheel right there, the Shelby Cobra. It looks like the Kelsey Hayes that would have gone on the original the Cobras knock with look. the knockoff. Uh, Perfect for your Eleanor replica if you're mm -hmm. going that direction, or any type of resto mod Mustang that you're doing. The, these are very popular, and 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 like I said, you can get it all the way up to 18 inches. Well, and out here, I mean, now we go thoroughly modern, don't we? Yeah, I've got to, actually these three are are from are my vintage. Um, they're all 16 by 8s, but they're a beautiful, beautiful quality and lightweight wheel. These are very popular with our, with our performance uh, track uh, people. Um, you've got the, uh, the Vintage 48, the Vintage 45, and the, and the uh, Vintage 50. These are super wheels. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're eye candy, but they only come in the 16 by 8s. But how about these? These are brand new to our lineup. We're, uh, uh, they are... Uh, Reproductions of the classic style steel wheel and the classic Shelby 10 spoke, but done in 17 inch diameters. Again, for, for that resto modder who really wants that big wheel look, but wants to make it look like home on the car and have that classic yeah. uh, now, tie to it. Now, this is all Mustang, but, but you've got them for. I've got a, a, a huge selection of wheels for all of the catalogs that we sell parts for, for my Camaro customers, my Chevelle customers, my Firebird customers, and my stock truck them customers. All. I stock them all. We're not a drop shipper. We've got all the sizes, all the different iterations at all four locations on the floor. If you're close to us, come on by and we'll pitch them over the counter to you or just give us a call and we can ship them same so, day. So no matter how you want to roll, NPD can take care of you, right? Absolutely, and we can do it fast. <laughs> you can do it fast. We've got it. Well, hey, if you want to learn anything more about these great Mustang wheels or any of the other ones at NPD Stocks, log on to MyClassicCar.com. 
V's in the 17s, now that's a bad wheel. Oh yeah, you need those on your Falcon. <laughs> you know, that actually would it'd look pretty good. Visit eastwoodgarage.com, your trusted source for professional auto restoration tools and techniques for over 30 years. Next, we'll get back out to Devil's Run in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Trevor, this is completely insane. This, near as I can tell, <laughs> is a, it's a Kaiser. It's a 54? 54. Kaiser Deluxe. Kaiser Deluxe. Well, man, now where did, where did you come from to come to the show? I came from Manitoba. Manitoba? Right yeah, right oh, the great, Manitoba. The Great White North. Yep. And did you, did you drive this from Manitoba? But of course. But of, <laughs> but of course. <laughs> you know, it's not restored, obviously. I mean, not she's yet. no cream puff, you know, nope. but, but it's certainly interesting. Was it, was it this color? Uh, no, it was actually a really not very nice yellow, hmm. painted with a brush. Painted with a brush. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wild car, the shape of it's wild and everything, but I got to tell you, I have never seen an interior quite like this. And is this for real? This, I was told that it was a bamboo edition and the guy just did it, redid it so, with oak. Wow. Yeah. So we, we believe that it looked like this originally. Yeah. Yeah. These taillights are real similar to the 54 Kaiser Darren. Yeah, and, they were, and back then, I'm sure they were using parts every way they could to try and stay alive. Now, this is going to have some sort of a six in it, right? Some sort of flex? Yeah, it's actually a supersonic six-cylinder. Supersonic six-cylinder. Let's you have a look bet. at the supersonic six-cylinder. Supersonic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. She ain't no cream puff, is she? No. Wow. She's... Well, and... Is that, a, is that a primer cup or what is that up there? No, that is actually a block heater. Oh, that's right. It's kind of cold where you come from. Yes, Andy. it is. <laughs> up in Canada, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Not that it'll be used. <laughs> right. This is it's one of the wildest cars I've ever seen. And how's that hood fit? You kind of kind of work good. it. You got all. <laughs> Just work it down there it's a little bit. It's a heavy hood. <laughs> it's, it's, that is a heavy car. It's a heavy car. And you oh, drove yeah. it from Manitoba. All the way here. Three tanks of gas. Three tanks of gas. Cha-ching. <laughs> but she run pretty nice? Beautiful. This is a killer car. Trevor, thanks for bringing it down, man. Appreciate it. Great car. Thanks. Kaiser Deluxe. Deluxe. Need parts for your next project? Then check out this week's Classic Car Marketplace. Need parts for your F-Series truck, Bronco, Classic Mustang, Camaro, Chevelle El Camino Malibu, or Firebird? Then get your free catalog from National Parts Depot, the nation's fastest restoration parts supplier. Call 888-893-FAST now for your free catalog or visit nationalpartsdepot.com. Steel Rubber Products supplies only the highest quality restoration rubber parts. Call for your free 600-page catalog featuring a huge selection of the rubber parts you need when you need them. Call 1-800-834-7833 or visit their website at steelrubber.com. Steel Rubber Products, your complete solution for rubber parts and weather stripping. Flaming River, the most complete steering company for street rods, muscle cars, pickup trucks, Jeeps, and any other classics. We manufacture tilt steering columns, power rack and pinions, and steering universal joints. Made by Americans for American Hot Rods. Call or visit our website for a free catalog today. Still ahead, there's more cool classics from Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Jerry, this is a beautiful car. 57 Buick Century. I love these cars, I love Buicks. This color, I'm a sucker for this color, so you brought, you definitely brought the right car today. <laughs> My wife is too. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a, this is a driven car. This yes. is no trailer queen, no cream puff. There's a ding nope. here, a snick there, and there. But you use this car, yes, right? Yes, we do. Yep. That, yep. you know, I always respect that. I like yep. it. Now, she's a Century, right? Yes. But she's got four of the, the, the Venta ports. I thought yes. that was Roadmaster. Well, you're correct. But when you go to the Century R, which is the Riviera package, then you end up with four. Ah, OK. Yep. Now, 57, did they still have the, the floor start in this? Yes, they did. And like I, uh, it, the first time I got into it, I didn't know how to start it. <laughs> yeah, I like, asked somebody. There's a key. I got a, there's yeah. a button. Where's How do you do this? There's nothing. There was nothing there. I couldn't find anything. The key wouldn't, would only turn so far, and I couldn't get it started. So well, It takes some getting used to, but you yep. just 
Yep. You have to hit the accelerator, oh. and she fires right up. Step her to the floor yep. off, off she goes. And, and does does it run well? It runs great. Oh, yeah. You bet. Power steering? Power, power brakes. Power brakes, not no power, power steering. steering hmm. Which is real interesting. That's a pretty heavy car. Yeah. You want to be moving when you be cranking that wheel. And you right? want to stop it. Yeah. 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 You know, want, you want it to stop. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do want it to stop. Well, no air conditioning. No. But it's a North Dakota North car. North Dakota car. Go figure, right? Yep. Yep. That was pretty rare back <laughs> we then. We don't need air conditioning no, up here. No. But you know, beautiful all the way to that. It does look like you've um, re-chromed back yes, here. Yes, yes. I had the bumpers, rear bumpers done last year. I had the front bumpers done just recently. So has this got a nail head engine? Yes, it does. How big? 364. 364? Yep. Hmm. Let's have a look at it. Well, again, working engine, working car, right? Absolutely right. Well, nothing, nothing looks like a nail head either. I mean, yep. it's sitting straight up there, the valve covers. That's right. Wow. That and does better. she just float down the road? It runs down the road great. Just wow. like a Buick. Just like a Buick should, man. You bet. God. <laughs> that's, a, that's a solid hood there. Yes, too, it is. is. <laughs> Clank. Yep. Thank Thanks you very lot, much. Jerry. You bet. Beautiful car, man. You bet. Well, Julie, this is an interesting car, and it's yours. Yes, it is. It's yours. Yes. It's not anybody else's. No, it's, it's mine. Your, it was yours. It was built for you. It's yours. You're going to drive it. It's yours. Yes. Period. Yes. Right. Now, it's a 52 Plymouth Belvedere. Yes, it is. And it's got some sort of family connection, right? Yes, it was my great aunt's car. Well, I like it. You know, you've, you've, you've rotted it, but not a lot. You've just sort of you've shaved the handles. Yes. But otherwise, it, it looks pretty stock. Yes. From the outside, we, anyway. We wanted to keep it nice and clean and simple. Yeah. I love your color combination. And you've got, obviously got shamrocks everywhere, and we're emerald green, and you're pretty attired <laughs> in green. And I, I really like your white interior. It's so clean looking. That's obviously yes. not uh, the original. No, it was a bench seat originally, but the seats and the console are out of a Monte Carlo. Okay, but you kept the dash pretty much uh, 52 Belvedere, didn't yes, you? Yes, the dash is original. It looks like you had to, I mean, did you redo the gauges? Because they look so good. They no. look brand new. Yeah, no. No kidding, that's original. No. Boy, yeah. your aunt must have really taken care of this baby. <laughs> yeah, she did pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what would she think of it if she saw it now? I think she'd not think it was the same car. <laughs> What I think is kind of interesting, and, and I guess this too was stock, is this trim line here. Yes. The, the, I mean, it looks almost like a little hat set on this thing. Yes. It's uh, the saddleback, they call it, and, and that was uh, distinctive to this year. Yeah. Back here, you've, you've you know cleaned it up, shaved it, and you've molded the bumpers in. That doesn't quite look like it originally <laughs> did. What'd you do? We turned the bumpers around and then painted it to match the car. Oh, so you flipped them? Yes. Now, this would have, in 52, it would have had uh, some sort of flathead six or something, right? Yes, it did. And you probably don't have that, but what do you what do you have powering it now? And we have a 318. Ooh, so you kept it in Mopar. Yes, it's Mopar. It's, it's Chrysler. Mopar. Yes. <laughs> through and through. Through and through. Popper open. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it fits in there nicely. Yes. And, uh, you know, that's a great engine. It's durable, it's reliable, you can get parts for it forever. Yes, yes. And it's plenty to pull this car around. It pulls around just great. It's a gorgeous car. I love the story. I love the family connection. And yeah. again, you got, you, you're, you're <laughs> dressed for it. I even saw, did I see some bling here, some green? Yeah, we have some bling. The emerald bling. bling. I even <laughs> yes. got the green bling. I tell you. <laughs> my gosh, and Bigara, she's a fine car. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> Julie, thank thanks you very a lot. Much, Dennis. Thanks. Beautiful car. Stay close. We've got some awesome iron to check out in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Brought to you by Grundy Worldwide Collector Car Insurance and by You Coat It, the official floor coating of Eastwood Garage. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Richard, this is a neat car. This is a, this is a, it's not a Rambler. It's, it's American Motors. It's an American right? Motors. This is an AMC Rebel. Rebel machine. Rebel yes. machine. And that's what's so weird about it. Because when I think of the machine, I think of the white car with the red and blue stripes and, you know, the machine logo on the side and, and kind of almost cartoon looking, but I thought they were all red, white, and blue. No, no, the first thousand were red, white, and blue, and then you could order solid colored cars, any AMC color. And so total, how many did they make? They made about 1,900. So total. the last 900, you could be anything you wanted? Yes. You got the hood scoop, and is this a metal hood? This metal hood with a fiberglass hood scoop. And you got the hood tack? And, tack. and that's even an AMC tack. AMC tack. Yes. I love that. <laughs> now, where did this, where'd you find this car? From Winnipeg. Did you buy it to restore it or? No, we bought it to race it actually. You did, eh? Yes. Wow. <laughs> uh, so we took it to the drag strip a couple of times and then um, had a little bit of problems. So we fixed that and then I kind of started restoring it and it sort of went from there. Man, well, it's a very, you know, 
Very Rambler-esque dash, isn't yes. it? <laughs> kind of a funky radio there. Yes, it's kind of the, vertical the other way, vertical radio. And you went, you've got an automatic transmission, and you, you brought that to race? Yes, more consistent if you have automatic than a four-speed. What, what a neat car. I'm, I'm surprised that the, uh, the interior is in such good shape. Was the exterior as good? Uh, there was dance all over because oh. uh, his kids used to jump up and down on the roof. <laughs> but yeah, the that's, rest, that's tough on him. <laughs> that's yeah, really that's... tough on AMC never got enough respect, you know, for, yeah. for as strong a car as they built sometimes. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they built their, you know, grocery getters, but these were pretty fast cars. Yes. Because they had a very special engine, didn't yes. they? Let's go look at that very special engine. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Yeah. So that's that's a that's a 390. 390, right? 340 horse. 340 yes. horse. Solid lifters. Yes. And that's a functional hood scoop? Functional hood scoop, yes. Tromp down on it, vacuum opens up, and, and the <laughs> floor opens. Yes. <laughs> Boom. Sounds good. <laughs> so how competitive was this on the, on the strip? 14 ones was the uh, stock. Yeah? And, uh, and, and you, car. You, you raced it in stock configuration, yes. basically? Yes, yes. That is neat. Now, you didn't race it with that interior in there, did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly <laughs> the way it is, except for the paint job. We'll close her up. So you just cruise to the strip. You cruise know, to the strip, drive her home. A few quarter miles, and drive then you just drive, drive her, go out to dinner on the way home, probably. Yeah. Man, well, this, this is a very cool car. I've never seen one in this color, and uh, I'm really glad you brought it out today, Richard. Thank you very much. AMC Rebel Machine. Machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we had a blast up here in North Dakota this week at Devil's Run. I love this show. Fabulous location, some really cool cars, and some of the nicest folks you'll meet anywhere. Let me tell you, this event's got must attend written all over it. Next week, we're heading out to SoCal to check out a couple killer customs. We'll take out a slick 54 Merc and a dropped 65 Riv. <laughs> These babies were built for cruising low and slow. Plus, we'll look at some of the latest offerings and Mopar restoration parts. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. Attention, my classic car fans. Go online now to check out the latest selection of DVDs. Just can't get enough MCC? Now you can download your favorite individual episodes of MCC from our website to watch on your computer or upload to your iPod and take them with you. Or you can get all 26 episodes from the 2009 season in one DVD set.